Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to teach you some words and expressions to help you expand your vocabulary. We'll start off with to be or to get used to. We are going to learn this expression in Arabic and see all the different ways to use it. We'll also look at this word, متمسح. I'm going to explain to you what it means and how it is used and then we'll look at the expression أخد على and how to use that one. Before we jump in, please show me some love by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. To be used to in Levantine Arabic is متعود متعود Compare this word to the MSA معتاد معتاد متعود is for the singular masculine. متعودة متعودة is for the singular feminine. And for the plural, متعودين متعودين Pay attention to the pronunciation. متعود You stress on that w sound. And the singular feminine the stress is a little bit less. متعوده متعوده And the same goes for the plural. متعودين You can say أنا متعود أنا متعود I'm used to this or I'm used to it. In this example, a man is speaking. أنا متعود Let's take another example. أنا متعودة أروح السوق لحالي. Sometimes we drop the أنا. متعودة أروح السوق لحالي. متعودة أروح السوق لحالي. I'm used to going shopping alone. If you'd like to learn more about verb to go, I have made a detailed video about verb to go and its conjugation and how to use it. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Another example with a plural. نحنا متعودين نسهر. نحنا متعودين نسهر. We're used to staying up late. متعود comes from the verb يتعود. So we can also use the verb, for example. أنا ما بتعود بسرعة. أنا ما بتعود بسرعة. I don't get used to things quickly. Or I don't adapt quickly. So the verb يتعود means to get used to something or to adapt to something. In this example, أنا ما بتعود, we're conjugating the verb in the present tense. Here's an example where we conjugated the verb in the past tense. تعودت على العيشة بلندن ولا لسه؟ تعودت على العيشة بلندن ولا لسه؟ Did you get used to living in London or not yet? It means, have you adapted? Are you used to things there? Notice that after the verb تعودت, we have a, a. So after the verb تعود, if we have a noun to say to get used to something, we add a or على. تعودت على العيشة. تعودت على العيشة. Let's take another example. تعودتي على الصحوة بكير. تعودتي على الصحوة بكير. Are you now used to waking up early? Did you get used to waking up early? Is it a habit of yours now? تعودتي عالصحوة بكير You can say the same thing with a verb instead of the noun صحوة تعودتي تصحي بكير تعودتي تصحي بكير You can also say بتتعود بتتعود You'll get used to it بتتعود here the verb is conjugated in the present tense, but it gives the meaning of the future. All right, now let's look at the word تمسح. تمسح and متمسح. متمسح. تمسح is the verb and تمسح is a noun. We use تمسح to express that we got used to something that is supposed to be negative. But we start to see it as normal because it happens very often. 
So we're basically desensitized to this negative thing that is happening and it just doesn't affect us anymore. For example, if you have a boss that keeps telling you that you can't do a good job, you might say something like خليه يحكي اللي بده إياه تمسحت خليه يحكي اللي بده إياه تمسحت To conjugate with we, we say تمسحنا تمسحنا تمسح probably comes from the word تمسح which means crocodile so you're developing thick skin like that of a crocodile and you're a bit more immune to the negative things that are happening around you. Now we have أخد على أخد على or أخد a a is short for على and we commonly just use a. It means to get used to somebody or a situation and to get comfortable with it or them. It is similar to the English phrasal verb to take to someone. For example, Mike أخذ علينا بسرعة. Mike أخذ علينا بسرعة. Mike took to us quickly, so he got used to us, got familiar with us, and it's comfortable for him to deal with us now. Mike أخذ علينا بسرعة. Another example, أخذت على الجو بسرعة بالشغل الجديد. This is the first person speaking. أخذت على الجو بسرعة بالشغل الجديد. I got used to the situation at my new job quickly. أخذت على الجو. I got used to the situation. I am familiar with it now. I'm familiar with everyone. And I can deal with them comfortably. أخذت على الجو. You can also use the active participle. ماخد, ماخده for the feminine. And ماخدين for the plural. For example, ابني مبسوط وماخد على الوضع بالجامعة. ابني مبسوط وماخد على الوضع بالجامعة. My son is happy and got used to things at the university. ماخد على الوضع. He got used to the situation and is familiar with it and is comfortable with it. If you are still with me, now it's your turn. Answer this question in Arabic and leave me a comment below. Are you used to speaking in Arabic? In order to improve your Arabic, you need to speak it. Even if you just have to speak out loud alone if you have no one to practice with. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you learned something new in this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I hope to see you in the next one. مع السلامة باي باي